In this video, I will teach you how to read a karyotype. So what are we looking at when we see this image? This is a person's entire genome, a full set of their DNA, which contains all of their genes that influence their traits. As you can see, the genome is split into 46 individual molecules of DNA called chromosomes. These chromosomes come in pairs, so we can see that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes and all together, 46 total chromosomes. A karyotype, which is what we are looking at here, is a picture of all the chromosomes in a person's genome. When a scientist analyzes a person's karyotype, they are looking at the number and relative appearance of all the chromosomes in their cell's nucleus. Each person has two of each type of chromosome, one donated in the egg from their mother and one donated in the sperm from their father. So we can see we have two chromosome number ones and two chromosome number twos and so on and so forth. While these two chromosomes came from different parents, they contain the same kinds of genes in the same locations. The chromosomes in a pair like this are said to be homologous chromosomes, homo meaning same, because they contain the same genes in the same locus. In fact, a specific gene will generally be located in the same locus on a specific type of chromosome across an entire species. For example, the COL11A1 gene, which holds the code for the protein collagen, is always going to be found in the same locus on chromosome 1, right around here, in any human chromosome number 1. These homologous pairs could have different versions of a gene between them, but they both have the gene in the same location. Now as you can see in this image, there are chromosomes that are numbered 1 through 22. These are called autosomal chromosomes, or autosomes. These chromosomes contain genes that are not directly responsible for determining the sex of the organism. These other two chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. Human males have an X and a Y chromosome, while human females have two X chromosomes. So here you can see we have a female karyotype because we see two X chromosomes where the sex chromosomes are located. And here we have a male karyotype because you see one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. You will notice that the Y chromosome is significantly smaller than the X chromosome. So when scientists look at a karyotype, they are looking for specific things. First, they look to make sure there are 46 total chromosomes. Occasionally, due to mistakes in the production of eggs and sperm, a person will end up with too many or too few chromosomes causing diseases that lead to issues in development and potentially death. For example, monosomy is a condition in which you only have one chromosome where you should have a homologous pair. In this karyotype, a person is affected with Turner syndrome, which results from having only a single X chromosome instead of two chromosomes. We can see the second sex chromosome is missing. This person will suffer from a series of physical abnormalities as well as infertility and challenges with mental development. Trisomy is a condition in which you have three homologous chromosomes instead of two. This is a karyotype of a person suffering from trisomy 21, which you may know as Down syndrome. You can see this person has three copies of chromosome 21. This extra copy will cause delays in both mental and physical development and it will cause a shortened lifespan. In addition to looking at the number of chromosomes on a karyotype, doctors will look for the shape of these chromosomes. This will tell them if there have been any pieces of DNA lost or gained, which could result in a disease. Chromosomes that are shorter than usual or longer than usual would tip the scientists off that something has gone awry in the gamete development. So these are just a few conditions you can diagnose while karyotyping. If you're interested in learning more about how monosomy and trisomy occur, you can see my video on non-disjunction. 